Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to day three of theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, sitting alongside my co-host and analyst, Rob Streche. Rob, we're, having, we're smack dab in the middle of day three. We're having great conversations, but the conversations that always are the most inter interesting to me are the ones with customers, because this is where the rubber meets the road. I, I was going to say, even if you're driving on the other side of the road, <laughs> oh. <laughs> which, you know, is real important to understand for this next customer Our as well. viewers will soon <laughs> yeah. understand that, 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 that very funny aside there. Yes. Uh, our next guest I'd like to welcome to the show, Bamzi Krishnadali. He is the head of data technology at, at NRMA. Welcome, Bamzi. Thank you so much, Rebecca. And Sumit Agarwal, VP of Product Management at uh, Informatica. Thank you so much for coming back on theCUBE. Great to be here. Great to see you again. Same here. So, Vamzi, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell our viewers who are unfamiliar with the NRMA is, uh, and, and they, will ex you will, they will soon understand Rob Strache's sure, definitely. amusing aside. So NRM is the largest uh, mutual based organization uh, within Australia and uh, we have got uh, close to 2.7 to 2.8 million members. It is mutually owned from past 100 years. We actually operate our roadside assistance that is our prime business unit along membership runs horizontally with uh, like you know six rental car, you can get the international driving permits as well as uh, some of the nicest uh, holiday parks across Australia. We have close to around 60 of them. So wide variety of business units. Okay, yeah. and which, what, and which what by the do way, does, does not prevent me from getting a speeding ticket with Ooh. the cameras that are in Australia, <laughs> which they mail to you ma magically in America, so. And uh, actually you raised a very good point, yeah. uh, Rob. Uh, the reason is, uh, we recently launched a roadside uh, safety advisory board, and we are actively participating in that. Yeah, I, I needed that. I, I, I should have I should have paid more better attention to the rules of the road there. And I was I was going down to uh, see some of the sites south of Sydney, and uh, definitely uh, could have could have used some uh, tutorials on. Uh, in not, in not exactly the same as America about uh, getting tickets, so. That's really yes. good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Bamzu, and what do you do at the NRMA? Okay, I lead the uh, data space uh, within NRMA as head of technology uh, within data. And uh, my prime uh, function is uh, getting all the data together uh, within our uh, data platform uh, on Google using Informatica. So we have wide variety of disparate data sources. Like, you know, we need to procure all the data irrespective of what kind of connection it is and ensuring the data is available on a timely basis for our self-serve analytics and also self-serve marketing. That is my prime role. And, and so are you using like BigQuery or what, what are the pieces, Vertex, what are the pieces underneath that, okay, that so you that, have uh, underneath Informatica? That's quite a good question to ask. Uh, the reason is like, you know, we use three prime tools, the cloud data quality, yep. uh, cloud application integration, and also the CII, uh, okay. sorry, uh, the CDQ, uh, CDI, which is the cloud data integration. So all three of them combined together, we actually get all the disparate data sources into the BigQuery world of Google Cloud Platform. And from there, actually we power up our data scientists, data analysts, and also the uh, data um, analytics teams for doing their self-serve uh, analytics and also the customer experience. So we recently launched a, a multi-channel marketing tool called Brace for our customer experience journey and within which the entire power up is using uh, CAI processes. So that's what I would call out. Like, you know, we have around close to 3,000 odd integrations, 10,000 plus uh, wow. events running every hour. So it's a vast variety of use cases which we deliver using Informatica and Google Cloud put together. So Sumit, I want to bring you in here a little bit. So Ramzi was talking about the customer experience journey. So how, when you are working uh, with NRMA, how are you helping this, this organization think through exactly what the customer needs and how to think through solving that customer's problems. Absolutely, so first of all, thank you Amsi for joining us. It's been, a, it's been a long standing customer from us for many years and I'm very very happy with our uh, partnership with, uh, with NRMA. So I think my role is very simple. So at Informatica we go with data values, which uh, and one, the key part of that is think about customer first. So all our Informaticans are about how we can help customers, how we can help them to solve their, their pain points. So what we do at Informatica 
Radhika is we work uh, closely with Vamsi and his team to make sure that we understand his use cases, his concerns, and also try to figure out how we can give them the best practices um, from other customers as well. So, for example, if I see there are a better way of doing few things, then I uh, try to pass it on to Vamsi and his team so that he can incorporate that in his uh, thing, uh, in, in his uh, roadmap. And in fact, a lot of things we are putting in our roadmap is also influenced with uh, feedback which is coming from Vamsi and his team. So it's a very strong collaboration between us. Thank you, Samit. Uh, that's wonderful to hear. Yeah, and, it, and it's, I, I think, as part of being a base layer for your how you do your business, because you figured out different use cases on top of that as well. And like you were saying, the multi-channel marketing, customer 360, things of that. What, what do you look at as the biggest use case that it helps you? And it can be more technical, you know, hey, it, it's helping us wrangle the data together and really, you know, like you talked about data quality because when I look at it in most organizations, the data is coming from all different places. It has to be rationalized into the entities and it has to be then, the metadata has to be carried over so that you can come out with an accurate answer. Is that a lot of what you're using Informatica to do? Is really so uh, the prime use case within our uh, industry is the single customer view. If you see a lot of business units, a uh, wide variety of different data sources, to bring in and procure all the data into our data lake and forming the single customer view across multiple clusters of information on the source identifiers, it was very unique to Informatica where we should be able to like, you know, contextually match based on their PI information and bring that uh, like, you know, to the survivorship layer so that who exactly we need to like, you know, cross sell, upsell, sending the right communication at the right time. So that is where like, you know, Informatica really powered us up. And uh, forming that master golden ID, along with uh, the customer data platform integrations, sub, uh, like you know, ensuring that Informatica is critical with all these integrations on top of the Google plat uh, Cloud platform. And maybe so, uh, I'll add on to what Rob said, Vamsi, right? Maybe you want to share, uh, this whole conference is about AI and about how Informatica is helping to build your AI applications with the trusted data. So maybe, do you want to share like uh, how you are using Informatica to augment your AI use cases? Uh, definitely, so, okay, so I can't talk much about our AI use cases yet, but uh, and definitely I can tell you this, the current CI processes, all in all, like you know, if I need to talk to a Gen AI model, like uh, either it can be like you know Palm or a Bison model uh, or any large language model uh, on our Google Cloud platform, it's a simple REST API call, like you know from Informatica. It's just like you know click and drop, low code, no code. So that means all my CI developers are ready for use and ready to deploy all the AI solutions using Informatica. So that is one thing. But the critical point here is. You need to be data ready for AI to be successful. Without data, there is no AI. Like you know, so that's the fundamental way in which, like you know, we ensure that all the data is coming at the right time with the right data quality in our Google Cloud platform to power up our AI use cases. That's that's what I, I would say. Yeah. How how uh, how help us understand or help the customers understand what your journey's been to get to that point. Because I, I think again, it's not like you, I, I mean, I wish it was this way, but you don't just put Informatica in and all your data, data management <laughs> okay. problems go away. There's a journey that you went on. Help people understand that journey to get to where you are today, where you can be API driven from a CI perspective to use AI. Okay, so excellent question. Like, you know, if I need to dig down on our past, because of the individual business units, all our data platforms and data management solutions were siloed, like you know, completely disparate, different teams working together. Coming to us like, you know, as a strategy that why not we use one single data management tool and a single data platform, where in which we dig down deeper, we were power center customers earlier using our Oracle BI apps journey. So using that, we could able to see the Informatica value it has provided to the organization from the like, you know, trusted data warehouse, like you know, sales applications or anything, whatever we would like to deliver from corporate analytics world. So looking at that, 
we saw, okay, Informatica is the right tool for purpose, and we are the first I, uh, IDP or IACS customers uh, within Australia, where in which, like, you know, we ingrained uh, the IPU model. So that's what, like, you know, um, uh, Alex uh, from Australia, uh, like, you know, say, sales director uh, nicely helped us out in that journey to procure Informatica, and also we know the Google Cloud platform being the pay-as-you-go service, because instead of, like, you know, buying up huge licenses, it's better to go as a pay-as-you-go and a serverless model wherein which large infra teams are not required to manage the entire infrastructure. So that is where like, you know, we thought, okay, one is SaaS, obviously the, the entire metadata is going to reside, our data is going to be secure on our on-prem uh, secure agents or cloud secure agents so that we can easily procure the data and nicely load it into the target areas. So from collecting all this data from wide variety of sources, Coming up to the data lake, we thought now is the journey to form the single customer view and the customer 360 on top of it and the customer data platform. So, and the customer experience. So like, you know, if you see the success, like, you know, keeps on evolving, like, you know, but we started with baby steps or uh, like, you know, slow steps, like, you know, um, quick wins, I would say. That is my, like, you know, first uh, uh, proof in the pudding. We decommissioned uh, several appliances on from like, you know, so much of infrastructure. We are completely on cloud right now. That's where we are. It sounds like you are a case study, and especially <laughs> what you were just talking about with the, the starting slow, the quick wins, and then making sure you're evangelizing that, you know, doing away with the silos and changing the way people do their jobs too. Um, I was really fascinated by something Sumit was saying about, about how it's a really a symbiotic relationship. I mean, you're hearing about NRMA's yeah. pain points and then, and, and then you're getting feedback from them about, Absolutely. okay, that seems to be a problem. We need to work on this and, yeah. and really changing the product. What are you hearing at this conference and are you talking to customers like yourself who, even if it's in a completely different industry and maybe even a different functional role from you, but are you hearing about the challenges that they're facing and obstacles that they've overcome that are giving you ideas about what you want to see from Informatica or what you want to implement when you get back to Australia? So I would call out like, you know, my journey here is especially for learning and the collaboration with Informatica. So I, I would like to connect to the people because the next one year it's going to be humongous for us uh, as a company on the AI-based use cases. So that's why like, you know, I came here for learning and I, I'm really confident that we are data ready for the AI using Informatica and Google Cloud. That's what I would call out. Yeah, maybe Vamsi, you should, we should talk about, I mean, Vamsi and I were discussing yesterday that how he started with predictive AI, like how he used Informatica for doing predictive AI use case, and now he, how he's thinking about going to a next future Gen AI, maybe after hearing from our, our conferences. Do you want to share, Vamsi, what's your plan on Gen AI is and how we're thinking about it? Definitely, like, you know, so increasing the productivity and the process automation is my like you know, gut feel. I have got a like you know team size of five under tens. I would say augmented uh, external resources as well time and time. But using Gen AI like you know with Informatica, all my CI developers or the developer productivity is going to be up to the next level. Like you know because it is so easy. It's just a drag and drop to call any LLM API service using the CI. So like you know I would say it's it's just like you know the tool is there ready to be used. That's what I can say. We are all powered up already. Yeah, I, I loved it. I mean, I loved it in the demo that you did yeah. during the keynote and seeing that, it, it was very powerful. And I, I think one of the things that I, I look at is when you're here next year, and when we're all here next year, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. What, what do you hope you can say that you're not, you're not there yet today, but you hope you can say that we completed this and we're happy about here in our journey? Okay, so, our focus is providing member value across all the group organizations. The amount of value we provide with the tools we got, that is what like, you know, I really would like to see my success as uh, like, you know, the head of data in technology. Like, you know, so that's my role and uh, I really would like to put my energy into like, you know, that and ensure that like, you know, Informatica really supports in that journey as well. And which is already supporting, them, uh, supporting us uh, and I'm really kind of like you know, Sumit and team and uh, they have like, you know, come across wide variety of uh, like use cases industry-wide and here specifically like, you know, we can cater to those and they can also like, you know, improvise their products. Like always like our customer success manager, like, you know, every, it's not even month. I can reach out to them whenever I need or they need me, like, you know, so it's like collaboration activity, so much is going on. Like, you know, if at all I need to raise some enhancement requests, 
team is there for me, like, you know, to support. One of the few KPIs for my team is to raise enhancements requests so that the product gets better and better for increasing the entire productivity, you know? So that is one, like, you know, I, I would say, I'm really enjoying this, guys. <laughs> Thank you for your partnership, Amsi. It's been yes. great. Well, it's, I mean, it sounds like you're both very enthusiastic partners and, and it's really a match, a match, a match for the Absolutely. ages here. Yes. Absolutely. Well, Vamsi and Sumit, this has been such a, a, a fantastic conversation. And like I said, your enthusiasm for the partnership is infectious. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Stretch. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise technology news and analysis.